right, this is a review or a comparison that I've wanted to do for some time now. Now, this is the Mi Photo travel tripod. I own this. I've owned it for about 18 months and I've been really, really happy with it. I have a full review up. We're going to take a close look at it again, though. And in the other hand, I have the Dolica TX570B. Really rolls off the tongue there, but it is a very similar tripod selling for about $50 less. $140 right now versus $90 uh, thereabouts. And the question is, is it worth saving a little bit money and picking up the Delica, which has specs very similar, or spending a little bit more and picking up the Mi Photo? Well, I might not answer that uh, definitively, but I will give you some ideas and some basis for making your own judgment. First thing we want to look at is that these two are very, very similar size, shape, and weight when put next to each other, and for the most part in form and function. Now, when I did the Mi Photo, I had a couple of folks, or uh, I did the Mi Photo review, I had a couple of folks comment and kind of poo poo and say, you know, they really wouldn't put their expensive camera on top of that. Well, I can say that after 18 months of use, I've been very happy with this. I do not use this, and I would not recommend using the Delica at its full height. The Delica can get up to about 57 inches. The Mi Photo gets up somewhere around 50, 51, I think, if we want to be precise. We should be precise. Um, but it does not feel the most sturdy at that height. That last set of legs on both of these are pretty pencil thin and uh, just not great. Now, both of these are able to have at least two different spread settings. So you can get it a little bit wider and build a more stable platform for yourself. The Delica actually has a little bit of a benefit here in that it has three settings. The last one is almost completely flat, so you could lay it out flat. You have a second and then you have a third. So I'm gonna set this one down right next to each other. Both of them weigh the same, about two and a half pounds. As I said, both get up around 50 inches. Both fold down in that reverse fashion where the legs lay against the center column post. So they take up about 12 and a half inches. And that is why I'm willing to make the sacrifice of saying, yeah, it's not gonna get super tall. I'm not gonna put my nice camera on it at its tallest setting. I'm okay with that because it fits in my camera bag so very nicely. That is why I bought this and it is sturdy at the lower elevations, I was gonna say, sure, at the lower elevations, and it works quite nicely. Now, uh, I said they both weigh two and a half pounds, fold down to 12 and a half inches, get up to about 50, Dolica 57, 51 for the Mi Photo. They both have these kind of twist lock legs, and you know, just like uh, a lot of things, people have varying opinions about these. Some love or hate them, but what's nice is the way you can grab all of them at once and pull, and then go back and give a little twist. And they're all together. Now you can see that the very last of the uh, Dolica, they actually are a little bit beefier than the Mi Photo. And that is a little bit why it can get uh, a little bigger. One other big difference to point out between these two, and this makes the Dolica actually a little bit more like the Mi Photo's older brother, older, bigger brother, uh, in that the center column post is removable. You can unscrew this bottom piece here and reverse the center column. Why would you want to do that? Well, it gives you nice macro abilities to put the legs a little bit longer, flip the center column underneath, hang the camera, and you can get it very, very close to the ground. Also, because of the, the way these legs spread, you can get that very close to the ground. On the Mi Photo, the center column piece is non-removable. Non it is completely fixed here. It will go up one more piece like so. Now, both of them have similar, kind of simple, small ball heads. This is where I think the Mi Photo really shines. This head, although small, is incredibly good. I have been impressed with it again and again and again. When you lock it down, it locks down does not move even a little bit. It's very smooth. The uh, handle, these are little things, but they make a big difference when you're out in the field and you want your gear to perform. Uh, the handle locks down. The panning is very smooth and marked in degree increments, which is helpful if you're setting up a panorama. It's got a little bubble level that sits out here on the edge of the quick release plate. That's important. Or not the quick release plate, but the quick release grabber where you put the quick release plate. All of that works very nicely. The head is non-removable. Uh, and, you know, I don't feel that it needs to be. You want a small, good head on there, that works quite nicely. The Delica head is very similar, um, but feels a little cheaper. And in general, that's kind of my feeling of this Delica. 
it feels a little cheaper. It's $50 cheaper, it feels a little $50 cheaper made. Uh, and you really notice that in the head. The, the grip and the way that it locks down does not feel nearly as solid and you never get to that point where it is really locked. I can still grab and move even though I've cranked that as hard as I can. Now I will say that the Dolica is rated up to about what up to 14 pounds uh, for your gear, for your camera on there. The Mi Photo is rated up to about eight pounds, but I have had, I'm not saying I've had more than eight pounds, but I've had close to that with the 70 to 200 and the uh, 5D Mark III on there. And again, feels rock solid. Over here, I have a little bit of drift with this head when you get up in the higher ranges of the weight. And the way this is designed, this rubber on here, it's actually even coming off just a little bit from trying to crank it hard there a second ago, just doesn't allow you to really crank it down and feels a little cheap. The pan lock, it's smooth, um, but you know, again, a, you know, a little cheap, uh, but this head is removable and underneath is your standard 3 8 inch bolt which will allow you to put a different head on. There aren't many other small, this heads this small that are going to be much better, but there are some out there, so you could switch this out if you wanted to. You would then end up probably spending more than you would for the Mi Photo, but you do have that option, and it's nice. The big difference, though, of course, is this removable center column that allows you to flip it over. So you, within the same weight size range, you have that ability, which is nice. On the Mi Photo side, they have their uh, backpacker version, which is a removable center column that will allow you to flip that over and it also even will turn into a monopod, but that is up around $190 versus $90. So paying $100 more. Uh, these little hex nuts here are quite nice. They allow you to adjust the tension on these legs. If they get loose over time, you can crank them back up. But kind of continuing that vein of cheapness, these little leg locks here don't quite feel as well made um, or as secure when they lock into place as they do over here on the Mi Photo. The quick release plate on top of this is kind of continues in that feeling a little bit cheaper. They do not call it compatible with anything but it is actually compatible with the Arca Swiss style, which is a very common style of quick release plate. It's got a little thumb screw at the bottom here. It flips up and you can screw that in or out. Um, you know, it, it's metal. It feels good. I think it's metal. Yeah. Um, you know, and it feels good. If, I mean, you know, it feels well enough made, but I wish this was a little bit better. On the Mi Photo side, it is more of a beefy plate, and they do say it's Arca Swiss style compatible, which is nice. I have a handful of those plates, so it's nice one. I'm losing them all the time, so then I'll find one that I lost when I lost the other one. So I always have at least one around. Um, and two, I can have a couple different ones on the bottom of my plates, and it interfaces with my other tripods quite nicely. Um, but even though they don't say it's Arca Swiss compatible, they do fit in there. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary, but it seems to be. One other kind of silly factor is that this ball head here, uh, or sorry, the level is underneath the mounting plate. So you could carefully mount it so that that isn't hidden, but it's difficult. And even then it's going to be a little bit under your camera. Whereas over here, it's clearly set aside this bubble level. is what I'm talking about. Um, and it keeps, it allows you to uh, see if you're level or not. And that also is nice for setting up panorama shots. So, oh, and the Mi Photo comes in different colors. It doesn't really make it better, but it gives you a nice option to have a different color. They've got red, silver, blue, green, whatever suits your fancy. Looking at my notes, I think that pretty much covers it. So the big question is, 50 more bucks or save some money and get this? I tell you, if this head were just a little bit better, I would be all for saving the money. Um, and it is really nice to have that removable center column. I do at times miss that on here. There's kind of a workaround if you really crank those uh, tension hex nuts down, then you can extend the legs upside down, but there's no place for them to lock. And so you can still have some drift there. It's not ideal, but it is a way to get your tripod or your camera on your tripod much closer. If you really like that feature though, 
then I think you should consider the Delica. If you really like that feature, but you're concerned about my comments about this head, which really are not as well made, um, then you should consider the higher level Mi Photo right here. Overall, I'm very happy with the extra money I spent on the Mi Photo, and at the time it was even a little bit more when I bought it, I would still do that because after, a, after 18 months of use, it has gone everywhere with me in my backpack bag, uh, my camera bag, and it looks like the day I bought it, except for a couple of wear spots on the, the color that I would expect after using it for some time. So, if you have any questions about either of these tripods or other tripods that might be right for you, I'd be happy to answer those. Just leave a comment down below. I have a review on the very budget Dolica, which I was a big fan of, and I still am, I think for 45 bucks, not this, but uh, a bigger version of this, less portable, uh, but for $45, it is the best budget tripod you can buy. As I said, I have a full review of this that shows you using it a little bit more. I should say that both come with carrying cases. The Delicas, you know, I don't use carrying cases for either tripods usually. Um, I either throw a strap on it or throw it in a bag. But uh, the, the Delicas is cheap. The zipper feels cheap. The strap length is very short. Uh, if you read the Amazon reviews, a lot of people have complaints who actually do try to use the bag and say it barely fits over their shoulder, uh, especially if you're even just a little bit bigger than, you know, average. Um, and the Mi Photo 2, its strap is longer and the bag feels better made, but it's still, you know, it's not impressive. They both come with little hex tools. Oh, that's one last thing I'll say about the Mi Photo that's kind of a bummer about the plate, is that you need a tool or a quarter or a key. The keys don't always fit, but a quarter or something because it's a, a little flat head spot or a hex spot inside that flat head spot for you to take it on, put it on and take it off. And so that's a bummer if you get out in the field and you want to make a switch and you realize you didn't bring the tool with you but you should always have those things in your camera bag. But I think that's about all I wanted to say. If you've got any questions, as I said, just leave a button down below. If this was useful, please hit the subscribe button. I have lots more videos coming about this. And, you know, I hope I didn't badmouth on this enough because I think for the money, it still is very good. What I'm trying to say is I'm happy with the Mi Photo, but I don't need to keep this. I'm going to be giving this away. I have a podcast weekly. comes out around Friday. Stay tuned. Look for the link down below to watch my podcasts, and I will be announcing this as a giveaway. All the details will be in that podcast. Yes, you have to watch something else. You have to put forth a little work to enter for something free. I'll ship it anywhere in the world. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe.